Style. I wish I had style. In this video, I'm going to show you an incredible resource I came across that will help you generate AI characters in different fashion styles. And every single tool we're going to use, including DAL E3, is going to be completely free. Let's go. Hey, what's up, everyone? Ronnie here. I am delighted to start this new tutorial with you guys. Today, we are going to dive deep into the world of fashion. How can you give your AI characters a specific fashion style? This is the question I'm going to crack in this video with an incredible resource that I came across. So without further ado, let me show you that resource. And then we are going to be using a series of tools, all free, to create different prompts that you can use to generate your AI characters in different styles. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is this resource that I I came across. This resource is a website called Aesthetics Wiki. There will be a link in the description. And yes, it looks like a day two of the internet kind of websites. I give you that. But there is a gold mine of information for all of you who like to prompt and design characters with AI. So let me show you how to use this website. On top of it, there will be this menu right here. There will be different tabs. The first one says Explore. Okay, I'm not going to go through every single part of the website, I want you to focus on the third item in this menu, Find Aesthetics. Okay, so you can list all of the website aesthetics from A to Z, by color, by image, by decade, by nation, by family, or by category. If you click on category, this is where you will get. And there is a bunch of ads on this website. I completely hate that. But just, again, focus on the information. So here, under Aesthetics Categories, you have about 14 different categories. Internet aesthetics, design aesthetics, fashion style and subcultures, subcultures and stereotypes, etc, etc. I'm going to click on fashion styles and subcultures. Okay, so click on that. And if you scroll down, you will find a huge list of subcultures and fashion styles, and they're all clickable. So for example, if I click on grunge right here, you will get into that wiki with a description of the grunge fashion style. So grunge is a darker, edgier style that is usually depicted these days with glitches, vinyl records, cigarettes, neon lines, color, etc, etc. So you have a full wiki page about the subculture grunge or the fashion style grunge. Okay, so you have history, you have visuals, fashion, and then music, bands like Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden. So this brings me back to my teenage years. All right, so we have all of this information. I would say. Now, what do we do with this? Well, the purpose of this video is to generate AI characters in these different fashion styles. So we need a tool to generate these AI characters. So we have a couple of options. We could use DAL E3 from ChatGPT Plus, but that would require a GPT Plus subscription, so paid. We could try Canva's image generator called the Magic Media, but as far as I remember, this one was not using the latest version of DAL-E and was still using DAL-E 2. So you might not get the best result there. There are other apps in Canva that will help you generate AI characters and images, but in my opinion, none of them are as good as DAL-E 3. Though there is another way. You can use DAL-E 3 for free. Let me show you. What you see here is the Microsoft Image Creator. Previously called Bing Image Creator, they are rebranding everything AI at Microsoft as the Copilot. So I'm not exactly sure how this website is called nowadays, but in order to get there, you can use this URL, bing.com slash create. Okay, so you will get here. You will need to have a Microsoft account, which is completely free. And then when you get to this URL, you will land on this page. Okay, once you're logged in. So from here, I can write a prompt. In order to run this experiment, we are going to be using one single character. So it's going to be the same character description throughout the entire video. The only variable that will change is the fashion style or the subculture I want this character to be represented in. All right, so let's start with the base prompt. So this is my prompt, a full body shot of a 75 year old grandpa wearing glasses. 
Okay, so you put that in and then you hit create right here. And the copilot is going to design your images, usually giving you three to four different results. So here we go. Here is my 75 year old grandpa. So out of these four images, this one is the one I prefer. All right, so now we have our ground zero character. This grandpa using the prompt full body shot of a 75 year old grandpa wearing glasses. Now let's move on to the second step, which consists in using ChatGPT. And here I'm going to be using GPT 3.5, so the free version of ChatGPT. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT to help me draft different DALL-E prompts. And these prompts will help me generate grandpa in different fashion styles by using some of the information on Aesthetics Wiki. All right, so let me show you the prompt I used to get there. So again, this is GPT 3.5, okay, so the free version of ChatGPT. And this is the prompt. You are a prompt engineer who specializes in character design. I will provide a detailed style description, square bracket style, and you will use that description to create a DALL-E prompt that will help me create characters in that specific style. To create your prompts, use key features of the style described in the context, visuals, and fashion part of the style description. Your prompts will always start with, and this is where you use your base prompt, full body shot of a 75 year old style grandpa wearing glasses. So the word style before grandpa in between the square brackets here in my base prompt will kind of help me indicate DALL-E that I am trying to reproduce a specific style. All right, and I will feed it information in terms of context, visuals, and fashion that I will fetch from Aesthetics Wiki. All right, so this is my prompt. I ended by, do you understand? And ChatGPT answered, yes, I understand. Please provide the style description and I will create the DALI prompt accordingly. Perfect, ChatGPT understands what it needs to do. And now I can start having fun with character design. Before we start prompting, let me remind you that if you are a member of this channel in the tier two, the Rondi ship, you will find a document with all the prompts I'm gonna be using in this video. That's a special perk for the tier two members of our membership. So make sure you check out the membership feed to find this document. All right, now let's start prompting. Let's start styling grandpa in different styles. The first fashion style we are going to be exploring is called Bohemian Chic. So if I come back to the wiki right here, I can find Bohemian, click on that. And now I have all the information I need to feed ChatGPT. So what I have done, I have basically copied that information. And for every style, I focused on three different parts of this wiki. The first paragraph right here, so all of this kind of gives me the context, right? The context of what this subculture is all about, where it comes from, just a brief introduction to it. Then I scroll down to the visual, okay? So visuals right here gives me an overall sense of what it looks and feels like. Okay, and then when it's available, I focused on fashion. So fashion gives me more precise attributes, key features of specific outfits, specific style, yeah, clothing style or accessory style. So this is what I did. And in order to make my life, but also your life easier, I have gathered all of that information on a specific slide that I'm gonna be showcasing for every style. So this is the Bohemian Chic, okay, context, visuals, and fashion. So the next step was for me to head over to ChatGPT, use that prompt that I just showed you a few minutes ago and fill in the blanks. So let's come back to ChatGPT and have a look at this prompt. I started with the name of the style here, Bohemian. All right. Then I fed it the context, the visuals and the fashion. So all of this taken from the wiki. All right, just make sure you are still in the same conversation where you wrote your base prompt, the one where you ask ChatGPT to draft a specific prompt for you. Also, another important detail, I ask ChatGPT to generate a prompt that is no longer than 30 words. Why is that? Well, because we are going to be using this prompt in the image creator, Microsoft image creator. And this one has a relatively short context window. So you need to make sure you are under 400 characters. In my case, I prefer 30 words. I think that's more than enough. 
All right, perfect. So I ran this prompt and it gave me a prompt back, which is full body shot of a 75 year old bohemian grandpa wearing glasses, draped in colorful, loose clothing, adorned with chunky jewelry, surrounded by tapestries and house plants. So it picked up different ingredients from the fashion style description and included them into the prompt. I didn't tell ChatGPT what to pick. I just fed the entire information and it gave me this prompt. So I came back to the image creator, pasted this exact prompt, and these are the four images that have been generated. And this is grandpa in the Bohemian style. All right, so I think this is pretty accurate. This is a pretty good representation of what a Bohemian looks like. I didn't specify where grandpa was from, skin color or anything. So we have a variety of different people here, which is interesting. It is true though that most pictures, most characters that were generated were mostly white people, Caucasian people. That is still the bias that AI has still today. It has been trained on more images of white people versus colored people. So you have to bear with that. And if you do want specific ethnicity in your prompts, you have to make sure to include that in your prompt. All right. So grandpa as a bohemian, I believe if this first experiment was a success. So now I'm going to reproduce the same process and show you nine other different styles. And for that, we are going to go much faster because now you know how to do it. The next fashion style we are going to explore is called cyber goth. Let's make grandpa a cyber goth. Very quickly, this is the information I fetched from Aesthetic Wiki, all right? Context, visuals, fashion. Then I came back to ChatGPT, found my prompt, and used the little pencil icon right here to simply modify that prompt. So I pasted the information about the cyber goth style instead of the bohemian style, hit save and submit, and then I was good to go. ChatGPT gave me the new prompt, the cyber goth prompt that goes like this. Full body shot of a 75 year old cyber goth grandpa wearing glasses, sporting LED circuit board accessories, fluorescent hair locks, gas masks, and platform boots. And when I ran that into the image creator, this is what it generated. All right, so let's have a quick look at cyber goth grandpa. Pretty funky if you ask me so. So this is the cyber goth fashion style. All right. So maybe one day when we are old, when I'm old, when I'm 75, I hope I make it this far. I will look like that. That will be the new hipster, the cyber goth. The next style we are going to explore is called Peaky Blinders. You might know the TV show. And this is the information I fetched from Aesthetics Wiki. You can screenshot that slide if you want, or if you are a member, you will have access to the entire presentation. So yeah, I ran that into ChatGPT, got my prompt back and pasted it into the image creator. These are the four images that came out of it. So Peaky Blinders. So this is characterized by the end of the 19th century aesthetic the gangs that were very active in London and Europe at this era. The full prompt is right here. Full body shot of the grandpa wearing glasses, tailored suit with bell bottom trousers, newsboy cap, metal tipped boots and holding a bookie ledger. So the bookie ledger for all the betting activities that the gangs were running at the time. So yeah, Peaky Blinders. So this is another one. Very cool, very elegant. Another one still with the ledger. And then this one, which is kind of like a split picture. So this was the Peaky Blinders aesthetic. Let's move on to the next one. The next fashion style I picked for you is called hair metal. All right, so this is the specs of hair metal. I learned from Aesthetics Wiki that hair metal is a subgenre of the metal genre. And you will find some attributes such as like, you know, uh, big crazy hair, makeup, leather pants, cowboy boots, fishnet, stuff like that. So I ran all of that through my main chat GPT prompt, got my DAL E prompt and pasted it in the image creator full body shot of a 75 year old hair metal grandpa wearing glasses with teased fluffy hair, leather pants, studded belt, ripped shirt, and accessorized with spiked bracelets and a bandana. All right, so let's have a closer look at grandpa. Very metal indeed. I like the style. I like the spikes, the ripped jeans. This is really cool. Oh, I like this one. This one is super high res. I like the metal band t-shirt. This is really cool, guys. I am really enjoying this tutorial because it's crazy how good 
dal e is at generating these subgenres, these aesthetics, if we feed it the right information and context. So yeah, I'm really glad I stumbled upon this aesthetics wiki and I really think it's indeed a gold mine. All right, let's move on and continue the experiment. The next style I decided to explore is called Aristocrat. These are the specs for this specific style. Aristocrat or elegant Gothic Aristocrat is a Japanese fashion style inspired by the fashion and customs of aristocracy in the European high class during the 19th century and the Middle Ages. Interesting. Again, we went through the exact same process, pasted everything in my prompt by modifying it with the little pencil, got my dal e prompt back that I pasted in the image generator. And these were the four images that resulted. All right, so here's the first one, aristocrat. Okay, very classy, very high society indeed. Also very 19th century or even earlier. So the prompt is this, you can screenshot or read it if you want. And let me just show you a couple of different, I love these boots, a couple of the different images that have been generated. This one is a little bit of a fail. Not sure why there is an extra shoe in here, but yeah, love the embroideries here. I love the fine, how do you call that? La dentelle in French. I don't know how you say that in English, but yeah, the feathers. This is really elegant and nice. And this one might be my favorite of the four. All right, moving on. And now I want to take it down a notch. Okay, we went from high society. Now I want to go to the more ghetto part of the internet. Okay, so this style is called Bombardier. I didn't know this style until I read the wiki. So Bombardier is a fairly recent subculture, okay, from the 2010s and the 2020s, originated from Romania. Take this with a grain of salt, I don't know. But basically characterized by fake high fashion t-shirts. So the fake good Gucci, the fake uh, Versace, all this style, like very flamboyant, but with a touch of kitsch. All right. So I was very curious to see what that would look like. So I ran it through my chat GPT prompt, got my Dal E prompt back and pasted it in the image creator. So here we go, guys. This is maybe the first time you discover the Bombardier style. There you go. We have this guy right here, really flamboyant with the golden sneakers, the BMW, still golden and a lot of gold chains, gold watches. If you are a real Bombardier guy, you have two gold watches, not just one, two. All right, so this is the first picture it generated for me. Here's the second one, still a lot of gold in here. You can see like the fake high brand, expensive brand, luxury brand t-shirt. Here's another one, again, a couple of watches. And here's the last one. So it seems like if you want to be a Bombardier kind of guy, you need a BMW and you need a lot of gold. And since we are into gold, what about el reggaetonero? Reggaetonero is a style that depicts the reggaeton singers. So here are the different reggaetoneros. We have this guy right here, fan of the Chicago Bulls or Rules or Rule Groups, whatever. So yeah, the tattoos, the gold, and the attitude, most importantly. Reggaeton is all about attitude, okay? So there is another guy, very swag, I would say, very stylized and yeah, reggaeton style, the colored, sunglasses, oversight glasses, here again, colored glasses, the tattoos, face tattoos, the cap, the baseball cap, very important, the basketball jersey. Yeah, and here is the last one. All pretty cool and very stylized, if you ask me. All right, let's switch it up and explore the emo style. This is the information from Aesthetic Wiki, and these are the images that the image creator generated for me. So here it got a little bit lazy, okay, and only gave me three instead of four images, but they are kind of cool. And I wonder if it's because I had been prompting quite a lot already by the time I prompted this one. So just know that with the image creator, you will have 15 coins to create 15 images per day. Once you run out of coins, you can still generate images, but it will take much longer. Okay. Also, I noticed specifically with this image that the quality of my image was way lower than the previous images. And it's funny because it was just for this one and the next one. The rest of the series was of higher quality. So the result can vary, but this is my emo grandpa. Okay. So with the ripped skinny jeans, the boots, the colors, the spiky jewelry, 
leathery thingy like spike and leather okay let's see another one there is another one the metal band t-shirt or black a lot of spikes and there is another one this looks like a grandma not a grandpa all right so three images instead of four a slight decrease in quality let's continue to push the image creator to see how far it can go the next style I wanted to explore is the Gaber style. Okay, so you might not know what Gaber is unless you are from Holland. And if you are, you might know that Gaber is a subgenre of the rave culture. All right, so Gaber is a Dutch youth subculture and electronic musical genre originating from Rotterdam during the 1990s. Okay, so Gaber is characterized by this very hard style techno, which is a very high BPM from 150 to 190 BPM. If you ever have been dancing on electronic music on a dance floor, you know that 190 BPM, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's kind of like that. All right, so let's see what a Gaber grandpa looks like. There you go. I pasted my prompt right here, characterized by oversized bomber jacket, baggy pants, Nike Air Max shoes, and a baseball cap. So here is my first Gaber grandpa. Looks very tired. Maybe it's just coming back from the rave. Another one right here. Love the style. And this is kind of what I've seen in the metro in Brussels and in Holland when I was living there. Yeah, this is pretty on point. My Gaber grandpa. I encourage you to research Gaber music. You might like it or not. And finally, the last style we are going to explore together today, but you will explore on your own, is called Pijo. And Pijo, sometimes also known as Postus or Cayetanos, is a fashion-based subculture, an urban tribe from Spain, characterized by wealthy outfit, youthful interest in high class social status. Okay, Pijo in Spanish kind of means like, you know, when your parents have a lot of money, you are a Pijo. All right, so let's see what that looks looks like in a photo all right of our grandpa these are the four images that were created for me all right so this one i'm not sure why the grandpa is wearing all baseball gear or baseball top but the other ones are pretty accurate if you ask me so for me this one is the most accurate of pijo so you have the jersey but it's not put on it's just laying on your shoulders and tied tightly with the little mocassin shoes and the polo shirt so yeah let's have a quick look at the other photos this one is a different artistic style so not a fashion style but artistic style it's more like a cartoon or a drawing this one as well it's more like a Pixar character so here we got more of a melting pot of different like artistic styles in our answers this one is more like a photorealistic image of the Piho style all right I'm gonna leave it here for you guys just remember that in order to follow all of this you will need a couple of different resources that you will find in in the description of this video. Number one, the aesthetic wiki. Number two, the prompt that I used to generate the DALI prompts. And number three, you will need all of the specs or the information about the context, the visual and the fashion attribute of each style. You feed all of that into the prompt, you get your DALI prompt, and then you use the image creator. You can use DALI from ChatGPT or any other image generation tool, and you should be good to go. So that was the tutorial for today. Let me know in the comments if you've tried different styles. Let me know which which ones and which ones are your favorite. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of our generative AI playlist for you to keep learning.